what is planned for today? Today is the second day and it's the last day. Not the second last day, it's just the last day. So today we will be starting off with the group reflections of yesterday and the participants themselves will be doing the group reflections so that would be exciting and we've got presents for them, sort of giveaways. After that we have an exciting uh, session. Um, CLGF is coming to talk about the local government structures and how um, the young women can engage with them. Uh, this is quite critical because um, the young women themselves, they have uh, shown interest to stand in the local government elections. So I think this is a good moment for them to directly engage with the local government people when they are here and ask questions and cl uh, have them clarified. Um, some of us, um, we are really not aware how local government structures work, what it is all about and always I think we were looking when we're looking at decision making and when we're looking at political participation we usually look at the national level and we tend to forget about this local government structure so this is the strategy for them to enter the local government to in the provisional communities in the divisional communities and start building up their leadership role leading towards the national elections um, and we also have a session on lobbying mechanisms. We've been lobbying, I think, for the past two years. Since some of them are pretty new and we, this is the moment the government is already there and we have to really engage with them and lobby uh, with them our young women's agenda to be highlighted uh, in the national agenda. So they have to uh, be strategic and be equipped with those tools, with that mechanism. How can they lobby, for example, with the Fiji Young Women's Forum Declaration, where it highlights young women's issues about education, sexual reproductive health rights, sustainable development, women, peace and security, uh, employment, uh, violence against women and girls. So that issues, how do, we, how do we engage with the leaders, how to build up that relationships? Like, um, uh, I think we also want to focus on when it's just not in the formal settings where you get to engage with them. So when you meet them in other functions, in other events, during cocktails, you just go and have to introduce yourself to the leaders. This is, I am blah, blah, blah. I'm part of the Young Women's Forum. I'm a young woman. I'm a feminist. I'm an activist. These are some of the issues that we are highlighting and we would like to engage with you. So, so, so those are some of the um, skills they'll be learning today. We also want to come up with the calendar of events and it is directly linked to the lobbying uh, mechanisms whereby if there are some kind of conferences, be it national, regional or international uh, calendar of events, for example, and if we're talking about the national youth policy, if you're talking about the gender policy, if there are any policy that is being discussed throughout the year, so we will take notice and any other workshop or events which the co-coroners will also be highlighting and some of the young women participants who are directly engaged in this leadership roles, so they will be also putting the calendar of events and we want to uh, strategize and give recommendations how can like certain young women be able to access these spaces. For example, if there's something happening in Lotoka, so let's say four or five of them are already part of the forum, so we can strategize, okay, this time it will happen. Um, so you go and lobby the forum issue at that particular space. So we will be floating that, and this will be an active working document, and it will be sent around to the forum and we'll just keep uh, tapping into that and highlighting and just calling up each other hey this is happening this is what you're supposed to be doing do you need any assistance or how can the co-conveners assist the young women participants that's basically it and then we'll have uh, reflections again I, uh, yesterday was quite amazing full-on hectic day and today it's kind of quite kind of relaxing and also it's quite important to hear up from the young women themselves how did they find the two days, what did they learn, Where? what are the gaps, what they want to know more about and from here after today uh, what are the plans. Because we do have plans like lots of workshops coming up but then we need to really analyze these two days and what we missed, what are the lessons learned, what they liked, what they did not like and what do they want for the future. Yes. First and foremost, Mike, what just happened? 
We just had a session on local government, the, what it is, uh, the avenues to access it, all around the presentation of what CLGF does. Could you tell me who you are and what was the most valuable piece of information from the last session? Um, Laisana and uh, one thing that I really liked about it was the, the fact that he was actually pushing for women to be recognized and the platforms he mentioned that we could use to get uh, our issues to uh, be recognized. Uh, my name is Larasa, I'm a co-convener and part of now. I think one of the most just like my son, the thing I um, got out of it was the difference between local government and municipalities. He differentiated the whole provincial council. I think that was very interesting, and the fact that he's push pushing for women and the w and the ways we could go about pushing for women's agenda. And is when, sorry, when we go on those, when we have discussions on local governments and representations. That was great. What's been happening between? Morning tea and lunch. So they had Michelle's session. It is a uh, strategies one can use to lobby. Um, she went into detail, some of it were practical stuff. And, uh, and then we went into an exercise where the participants got to write letters to the editor. So that was like, one of the lobby mechanisms or strategies that she highlighted. Hi, I'm Monica. It's been really fun. Like I got to meet a lot of people. Um, the experience was overwhelming. Like um, I got to learn about the local government, the importance of the parliament, and like um, how the skills of lobbying is really important for us as well um, as women. We Our tour to the parliament. Yeah, it was actually really nice. We got to see what it's like to be in the parliament. And we got to see the, what's the long thingy? The maze? The maze. We got to see the maze. Uh, hi, I'm Ellie and I work for the sex workers organization here in Fiji. Yes, for the last two days, it has, the last two days has been very informative and very educational. Although I find the the some the first presentation so fast, uh, yes, because it, we have a lot to process and take in. But then the the presentation was so quick. Yeah, but apart from that, I'm, it's having. I'm having a lot of fun getting to know other people and other uh, other organizations that are present in the room. What stood out the most for me? I I have I have learned a lot of new things and some things I have taken in and some things I am still in the process of getting to understand. The one that stood out really is the is the different kind of motions. I didn't know, I, all I know is, yeah, motions, but I didn't know that motions have their own categories, yeah. Oh, the wrap up is more like um, young women being very strategically on how they should lobby for issues that they cons that concerns them and issues that they want to really want to push for in parliament and different ways on how they can lobby for that so for from that for after lunch time till the wrap up i think it's more that and young woman it was very good to see that i think more young women are more engaged now they want the interest you can see the interest in them that really they want to be part of it and I think now they know not just how important it is for them to start pushing for their issues in local government but also for national level. So everything is done. The two days is finished. Yes, finally the two days is finished but I think we have to do more work now. Yeah. So what's left to do now that everything's finished? I with think the, workshop? the next big thing is that um, it's not really an outcome statement. Um, the the lobbying document that the young women have written in terms of uh, reviving local government, 
what issues they want to see in local government. I think um, the comms team and the co-conveners -conven co will put that document together and do a press release and send it around to all the ministries, to the local government, to the mainstream media. So that is sort of like an outcome. And after this, we have to go back and see the evaluation, what were some of the, um, if we have met the expected outcomes and if they have had any recommendations and suggestions for the Fiji Young Women's Forum for any future workshops or trainings that they would like to attend. So now it's all finished. How do you feel the two days went? Um, I think it was pretty crazy and it was kind of overwhelming to have all that information, but it was very productive. I think today we, are, we were quite excited about local government and the presentation was really great from CLGF and I saw there were a lot of uh, questions from the floor, so it was amazing. Um, it, so I got the feeling that the young women were actively listening during um, CLGF session and they got to understand what local government is but they were intrigued and they wanted to know more what to have a better understanding of how ca they can engage with the local government. And so maybe a message, like a final message to all the participants, what do you want to say to them? I think firstly it's like thank you for everyone to attend the Fiji Young Women's Forum for two days, I know it's kind of hectic or kind of crazy and a uh, moment to start 8 o'clock early in the morning. I'm a late to sleep by myself. Uh, that, uh, but uh, some of them were very responsible. They came early to attend the workshop and uh, their active participation and their teamwork, they, they were really mixed up in different groups and they came out as a team and the diversity was there. They obviously made new friends and the co-conveners, they were quite proactive in uh, looking after their session, just taking the role and ironing things out.